This body armor right here is called Dragon Skin Armor, and in the early 2000s, it was supposed to be the most futuristic, safest body armor in all of military history. The only issue is, the army was not believing it, but the entire civilian population was. And so here is the perfect storm that Dragon Skin Body Armor managed to find itself in. But before we get into all of that, please like this video, it helps out so much and it lets me know whether or not I need to keep making videos like this. Now, let's bring ourselves back into the early 2000s. The US military was involved in the Afghanistan and Iraq war. And around the 2004-2005-ish time, there were starting to be some rumbles of US soldiers are not getting the best equipment out there. And when soldiers don't start returning back home, families want answers as to what the hell is going on in Iraq and Afghanistan. So now all of a sudden we have this company called Pinnacle Armor. And they developed and designed a very unique body armor that was really not seen in the 21st century. And the reason why I say that is because this dragon skin concept was already made back in ancient China. The ancient Chinese realized if you take a ton of rice paper, overlap them together, you have a pretty strong piece of armor. Pinnacle Armor took this design, brought it into the 21st century, and they took ceramic discs and overlapped them together. Now here's where Pinnacle Armor started to find themselves in the greatest situation. They found themselves on shows like Mail Call. Now you know if the gun is gonna bring out some body armor people, it's gonna be state of the art. The folks at Pinnacle have invented a new body armor that is just unbelievable. An imbricated layout, and these will actually defeat the rifle rounds. This guy doesn't have any bullet holes in him. No, sir. He's going home to mom safe and sound. Yes, sir. And they managed to make it on future weapons. Two and even nine millimeter rounds. It stopped them all cold. I've never seen anything like it. Boom, 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 boom. This is a standard fragmentation grenade. It's got a steel, it was a deadly blast. When you flip it around, it looks like nothing's happened. That's what goes against the body right there. No. Now let's remember the internet and TikTok, this was not a thing back then. But if you made it on TV shows like Future Weapons, it's implied that this will be a future weapon and it's a great weapon and why don't our soldiers have these weapons? So, by popular demand, the army had no choice but to take notice to what the hell is this dragon skin armor. And in 2006, Pinnacle Armor managed to find their way on a test site where the army was going to test this body armor. Okay, controversy time, here's what happened. Well, the test goes like this, it was classified. However, Pinnacle Armor said no, the US Army took our body armor and held it for one to two weeks, so we don't know what happened ourselves. In fact, Pinnacle Armor was pretty much saying the army tampered with our body armor. Now, usually the army does not give you a second chance to do these tests. However, because Pinnacle put out such a fuss, they managed to get a second chance with the US Army's testing. And not only that, the army said, we are going to give you a second test and we are going to declassify this information for the world to know that your armor sucks. Now, they didn't say it like that, but let's be honest, that's probably why they were going to declass this information. Because what you also need to know is that US troops at the time were allowed to wear personal body armor that was purchased. Because families had heard about dragon skin body armor and their families were sending it straight to their troops. You guys have to remember, a lot of troops were losing their lives at this time, and I would do the same thing if I had a kid. If I knew this body armor was better than what they're getting, I'm going to spend any amount of money to give that to my child. Even Chris Kyle admitted that his family sent him dragon skin armor. It's in his book. Okay, let's get back to this second test. What exactly happened? Well, we actually have the x-rays on what was happening and what the penetration issue with this body armor was. When the body armor was exposed to a lot of heat, which is a part of the test, the glue that was holding the discs together, it was starting to separate, thus the rounds were penetrating right through these vests. Also, in other x-ray images, you can tell that the structural integrity of the vest really falls apart upon impact with these bullets. You can see all the discs start to fall to the bottom of the vest. And here's where the US Army says, see, we told you this stuff doesn't work, get it out of our face. Now here's where all the controversy starts to happen and here's why families are not necessarily too happy. All of a sudden we have a ban on the purchase of privately owned body armor. This means that just because a family saw that this body armor is the best or whatever body armor they see, they cannot send it to their soldiers. And soldiers cannot go out and purchase this body armor. So of course Pinnacle Armor is like, uh, what is going on? Why all of a sudden when we do this testing, are you canceling this policy? 
Also at the time, NBC conducted their own private tests and a couple of other news outlets, and it showed that the body armor worked perfectly fine. And on the show's future weapons and mail call, the body armor worked perfectly fine as well. Essentially, Pinnacle is claiming that the body armor that the soldiers are using today, they are only keeping those because the US Army wants to save money and not purchase our body armor. And Pinnacle is also saying, I mean, guys, look what is going on here. All of a sudden, we're in the spotlight, we're the best armor out here, and now you can't buy us. And what's very unfortunate is that the hearts and minds of the civilian population, they were really being played here. Because people did not care what was going on with this dragon skin armor or what the hell the army is doing. They just want their sons and daughters to come back home from the Iraq war and Afghanistan war. So they just wanted the army and the military figure it out. But unfortunately, nothing could really be done past this point. Once the army puts that ban down, soldiers cannot receive this body armor. Now, I know a lot of you are saying, well, couldn't they just fix the glue issue? Well, they sort of did because Dragon Skin still is around today. Now, this is not a sponsor, but you can go on a website like StealthArmor.com and they have Dragon Skin on there. And even on their main website, it says in use since 2014. And also, I got reached out by somebody who used to work for Pinnacle and he even said the way that you see it in the media and what the army testing was doing, it did not go down like that. So who knows, maybe me and that guy can hop on a phone call and I can make another video on this? But the armor is being used today, don't get me wrong, it's being used by contractors and law enforcement. Also, Demolition Ranch did a pretty cool breakdown of the body armor, I'll link that for you. Let me know what you guys think because I actually am very curious. This was the Dragon Skin Saga.